I heard that Kipimi was organizing a regional Asian Pacific Islander conference in New York City. I think what that did was it just sparked a lot of energy and excitement about what was possible. And then I got to attend the Creating Change conference uh, in Oakland where there was an API caucus where um, the question was just called, like, how do we keep building? How do we take this to a national level? So I was there in 2005. From the conversations that happened that weekend, uh, and Capia in many ways was formed. The reality is we're invisible too because there's little or no research or data or studies on our community. And there was no staff to do this kind of work, to really ask those questions, to put that information out there, and to really mobilize a very active, but unfortunately invisible community now. Great people, it's nice to actually see the passion behind the work that goes on around the country. I believe that doing political work within our families and intimate networks is some of the hardest and most important work we can do as activists. We can do it. <laughs> I know we can. We can love each other. We must love each other. Our survival and transformation depend on it. Thank you. You have to stand and sit in front of all the legislators, one by one, if you have. Put your face before that person. Let your face tell the other things about the issue, how America is to be included in comprehensive immigration law. It depends on each and every one of us acknowledging the struggles and also working together to, as we turn it back to the Pacific epistemology, to Dapipa, to cultivate our space so that we can work together and fuck it makes a revolution, right? Conrad Vicamora received the Community Catalyst Award from the National Queer Asian Pacific Islander Alliance in Kapia over the weekend. It means the world to me. Uh, I mean, I, the work that they do uh, bringing acceptance and promoting equality and justice for Asian Americans is just really important. Intersectionality will bring us racial justice, gender justice, and economic justice. White supremacy, patriarchy, and capitalism are systems which we must dismantle and destroy. I hope you all will join me in doing so. Liberation is on the horizon, y'all. So our goal is for each person to be able to have two to three conversations. So when you get one of your yeses, uh, go ring the bell so that we can all keep the energy up and celebrate. One in three Asians in the U.S. live in a state where we can be fired because of our sexual identity. I support LGBTQ rights and API immigrant rights because I'm a trans woman of color. Thank you so much for taking action with us. Have a good day. Yay, my first call. Yeah. It is not just all of us that are gathered here. It is every person. I have a specific vision and a dream that when we open that door to true equality, we see all of our faces. Not only some of our faces, but all of our faces. That is the dream of true equality. And I think with your help, we will realize that dream. Thank you for having me this evening. We are in We are in